Have you noticed the major flaw in TypeScript? There's something lurking in the dark that prevents TypeScript from guaranteeing that your code will even run. This is especially true when using npm packages, which I know you are. We all are. But whose fault is this? Is it TypeScripts? JavaScripts? The npm package authors? Let's discuss it. This video aims to make you a better developer, not to discourage you. Many languages, including JavaScript, have hidden control flow. We don't call it hidden control flow. We call it throwing exceptions. When an error is thrown, it propagates up the call stack until it encounters a try-catch block. If there's no try-catch block, your program will crash and exit with an error code. Let's hope that we have a try-catch block in a sensible place to recover from. In the JavaScript ecosystem, we rely heavily on packages. Packages that use other packages. Packages written by skilled developers and packages written by individuals who may also have coding skills but questionable intentions. If you use npm packages, you have limited control over the code quality in your bundle. And here lies the TypeScript problem. TypeScript can't determine which functions may throw errors. To play it safe, you have to wrap any function call to a package in your own try-catch block and design your program to handle numerous error scenarios. Furthermore, the error type is always unknown. Let's examine a language without hidden control flow, Rust. In Rust, you're expected to return types like option and result from functions that could fail, unless you explicitly instruct your program to panic and terminate. The control flow is always transparent. So what should you do? Let's review some tips for using and writing npm packages. If you publish an npm package, consider returning a result type or a callback where the first parameter contains potential errors instead of throwing errors. When the first parameter is an error, it reminds users of your package to check for errors before proceeding with the result. And how do you use packages? Depending on the importance of never crashing your applications, and the perceived quality of the external packages you use, you need to decide where to wrap function calls in try-catch. I recommend creating a reusable function that wraps in try-catch and returns a result type. I hope you found this information helpful. I love TypeScript, and you should too. Stay safe out there.